a golden retriever dog farm that lets visitors spend quality time with them has become a tourist hotspot. What a surprise, guys. We're going to read into this more from the positive outlook. Let's go. Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Reading Elite here with another episode of Good Vibes, Good Times, where I bring you a good news story once a week. And this one here is from Positive Outlook with the headline that a golden retriever dog farm that lets visitors spend quality time with them has become a tourist hotspot. And really, how is something like that not a tourist hotspot? Come on, let, let's talk, let's just talk about this. You know, you know, having uh, a golden retriever must be an absolute blessing. But having a whole farm full of them, like, how can you not want to take your, take your, take a family uh, to a to a farm like that to spend time with a bunch of beautiful dogs? I mean, who who would not want to to do that? Um, and then you to, 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 and it obviously t turn it into something into a bit of a into a business of some sorts as well, because it's obviously if people start to really, you know, if you have that many dogs. Um, you can turn it into a sort of business as well in terms of making money for yourself by allowing people to come in and spend time with the dog. And not only that, you're also improving the social uh, socialising that the, that the dogs have as well because <clears throat> it's hard, if, especially if you have a massive farm and you only have so many people, to give that one-to-one -one interaction with so many dogs. Having a, uh, inviting lots of, uh, having tourists come and basically uh, come to the farm and whatnot, it gives more animals a bit more of that one to one time as well. So I think it's also good, yeah, uh, mentally for, yeah, for for the dogs, and it's also a great morale boost as well. And it's it's a fun time for families and children and whatnot to come to these farms, and just have a and just be reminded of just how wonderful pets are. Those who don't have pets or those who are looking for pets and whatnot, uh, to remind them just how wonderful uh, these uh, beautiful animals really are. And uh, that that's the cool thing about it. So imagine stepping into a magical land where wagging tails and fairy happiness surround you. And that's the experience at the Golden Retrievers Farm. It's a special place in Jefferson, Vermont called the Golden Dogs Farm, where more than 200 acres are home to adorable and friendly Golden Retrievers who act like real-life teddy bears. They're adorable and thrilled to, to meet friends like you. The owner, Doug and Rebecca Wolpe, create the Golden, uh, the Golden Retriever experience, turning the Golden Retriever Farm into a destination for dog lovers. The farm in their green mountains has become a viral sensation on social media and tracking visitors from all over the country. The Golden Retriever experience offers a unique opportunity for people to spend quality time with happy Golden Retrievers, the term for a group of these furry friends. Doug and Becca host hour-long uh, play dates, allowing visitors to enjoy the company of these joyful dogs. People are coming from all over the country and taking a break from life and enjoying a moment, and that's awesome, Becca told Good Morning America. And that is, yeah, I mean, like, come on, like, how can you not want to enjoy, uh, enjoy time with, with them? The journey to create this heartwarming experience began when the Whirlpool decided to make a major life change during the COVID-19 pandemic. I had a job when I travelled a couple of hundred days a year. And then all of a sudden it stopped and I became a Zoom life, Doug told people, adding that he described a change course when someone asked him about selling his home when the pandemic started. Doug, a Stephen advertising professional, and Becca, a children's photographer, sold their uh, Cincinnati home, rented an RV and embarked on a six-month road trip. Eventually, they found a 270-acre property in Vermont, now, now known as the Golden Dog Farm. Living on the farm with their four golden retrievers, the Whoopies noticed that their dogs lacked human interaction. To address this, they came up with the idea of creating a golden retriever farm and inviting people to meet and spend time with their golden retrievers. This is exactly what I was just think I was just saying when at the start of the video about that interaction, the socialism with with other with other humans and, and whatnot. And I think that's really important, and I'm glad that they thought of that. However, they realised they're building their own happier goldeners would be challenging. Yeah. That's a lot of dogs to look after. There's a lot of dogs to wash, a lot of dogs to feed. There's all that stuff that comes with it. Um, they, yeah, that's quite a lot. That's a, it's still a challenging for the owners, uh, for the owners of the dogs, without a doubt. Seeking help from the neighbours, Danielle and Susan Means, experienced breeders, 
of eight Kisei Golden Retrievers, the Golden Retriever experience was born. The events began in September 2023 and frequently gained popularity after a TikTok account featuring the Golden Retrievers farm was already in sold out tickets. For $75 per ticket, visitors play with the Golden Retrievers, enjoy activities like ball games and petting seasons until the dogs are happily tired out. The experience extends to uh, farms barns where guests can enjoy hot chocolate, lunch and treats. Oh, look at that young child. <laughs> I'm not sure. I should, I should, should, I'm not sure the child's that happy if I was. Maybe it's just me. The Golden Retriever experience lasts about an hour and a half, providing a delightful escape. Professional photos are also available for those who want to capture the memories. The Wolpies receive uh, glowing feedback, whose attendees describing it as the best day ever and even liking it to therapy. I, I, I think that does complain in the, in the time of therapy as well. It's a real morale booster. A positive morale booster for those who are obviously who have mental issues and whatnot. Taking them there can really, really turn their frown upside down. Beyond the fun, the experience of the Golden Retriever Farm has brought out strong emotions, serving as a healing space for those who have lost a dog. Yes, I think that does play a part as well. Um, that can really play a part, sending them out there. It has also become a unique event for special celebrations with five proposals during the event. As the Golden Retriever experience spreads joy, the Whirpies are exploring the possibility of hosting parties during the warmer months. This magical land of wagging tails and very happiness has become a heaven for dog lovers seeking a unique and heartwarming experience. Though he admits uh, running the entire Golden Retriever's farm is like working two full-time jobs, the response from people has been well worth it. Oh, now that, <laughs> that's... You've got to have a lot of trust there. You've got to have a lot of trust there, and there's definitely trust trustworthy there. It feels like all the experiences I've had in my life, all the experiences Becca's had in her life have come together. They make this happen possible. It feels the cumulus. It feels like it was meant to happen, he shared. Aside from the Golden Retrieve experience, the farm also offers you can or offers you can explore the whole farm. They offer tours where you can learn about the bees that they make honey and sell, and you can sell the orchards of maple seeds that they make that they make syrup. That's cool. So they've expanded their operation from just being a Golden Retrievers farm to basically becoming a tour touristy place for other things as well. So they've really expanded their, their their stuff there. So it's not just uh, so there's a lot more stuff there. If you've ever been curious about beekeeping, have a special bee experience. You can put on the suit and learn what it's like to care for bees. It's a hands-on way to discover the world of beekeeping and see how honey is made. The farm also sell merchandise such as cats, hoodies, shirts, sweatshirts, and more. You can visit the site here. There'll be a, I'll I'll put a link in the description if you want to have a look. Experience the cuteness overload by the golden happy retrievers by watching the video below. Again, I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to check that out. Um, that's awesome. Um, it's it's a great story because obviously, I'm putting tiny something, tiny something that uh, you generally have love and passion for, and then uh, love for your love of animals and love of dogs, and turning it into a farm and turning it into something that could be a business. That's exactly what they've done, and not only that, they provide morale. And around social interaction with other humans, as well as helping out uh, those who come and, and give their money and time here, they also can help morale boost them, especially those who lost lost dogs. So it's a win-win kind of situation. And the fact that they're actually not just doing golden retriever dogs, but they're actually using, uh, putting, you know, making the farm a bit more touristy, as well, uh, the beekeeping and, and whatnot. I think that's really really cool. A really very smart business-wide decision and also from a morale and socializing uh, perspective as well i think that's absolutely awesome so a question i have to ask you guys uh, is what do you make of the golden retrievers farm if you live in america do you plan on visiting there maybe perhaps yeah in the future next time you go there maybe you would want to go to a golden retrievers farm or maybe there's one here in the uk that i don't know about that maybe you're going to provide me in the comments below that one I should definitely check out. Let me know your thoughts about this lovely story in the comments section down below. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share this across social media so others are notified of this video. And subscribe because it really does help support the channel. Thanks so much for watching guys and I hope to catch you all very, very soon.